footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down the pinstripe bowl between Rutgers and Iowa State. Now let's take a look at the Scarlet Knights keys to victory to see what they can do to, in order to win this bowl game. When you look at the Scarlet Knights, you know they can come in and run the football, and that's why their games are a lot closer. Teams have a problem matching up with that big offensive line. But I got to look at the passing game. They throw a lot of interceptions, 16 interceptions on the season. That can't happen against a team like the Cyclones that has an outstanding secondary. And they have to get more receivers involved. Guys like Brandon Coleman, Karan Pratt, those guys have to get involved in the passing game to take some of the pressure off Muhammad Sanu. But if you have to feed the ball to Sanu, who has over 100 catches, you keep him on the move so that way he can't get bummed at the line of scrimmage and it puts a lot of pressure on the Cyclone safeties. On defense, they're going to have to dominate the line of scrimmage on the interior by flooding the gaps, playing downhill, and playing a lot of gap control defense against that spread run. They're going to have a lot of success to get more plays in the backfield. And if they can do so, they're going to put this offense in passing situations in which they can struggle. Now let's look at the Cyclones of Iowa State to see what they can do in order to get a bowl victory in Yankee Stadium. I think the Cyclones have a huge advantage on the ground. They're going to have to hit the ground running literally against the Scarlet Knights. They're going to have to come in. James White's going to have to have a huge day running the football. You look at guys like Jeff Woody. These guys can have a chance to be successful against that defensive front. Now, on defense, they, it's all about shutting down Muhammad Tanu, the outstanding receiver for Rutgers. They're going to have to bracket this guy, a lot of high-low coverage, to force those other wide receivers to consistently get open and consistently catch the football. Now, also defensively, they have to make sure they secure their gaps, shut down that running game. If they blow up the run on the early down and distances, they're going to have a lot of success in stopping what Rutgers want to do on offense. Going with the Cyclones in this game. I think right now offensively they're a little bit more diversified than Rutgers so they're going to be able to throw the football if they need to and defensively with that secondary that's going to put a lot of pressure on Rutgers because they're going to just man up on those wide receivers and force them to beat them with the running game. For more college football previews visit footballgameplan.com slash college football or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. Follow me on Twitter at fballgameplan and listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.